What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about dropping down to 5% body fat. Now that's why I have my shirt off, because currently, I'm gonna stand up here, I'm about, I think I'm, I'm about 10, 12, some shit like that. Honestly, like uh, when I go on the, um, at work, right? Because I work at a gym. So when I go to the, uh, the gym and I use that uh, bio impedance, uh, scale you know the one that like sends the current through your hands and feet and then uh you know it measures your body fat percentage and shit like that i mean that thing measures me out at about uh last time i checked like at 12 right but then before that it fluctuates sometimes it's at 10 sometimes it's at nine. it's like 9 and 12 but pff, i don't know man so anyways when i when i get to work today uh, i'm gonna ask one of my uh co um my co yeah co-workers right another, another trainer i'm gonna tell him to pinch me because that's actually the better way to, to measure body fat percentage. So he's gonna pinch me. I'm gonna use uh, four sites, right? So it's gonna be bicep, tricep, uh, sub, uh, sub scapularis in the back, and this one right here, like uh, ASIS or something. Anyways, whatever, iliac crest, right? Somewhere right here. So anyways, those four sites, I'm gonna plug it into uh, Dernan and Wormsley um, formula, thingy majigi calculator on their on their website okay and then from there i'll let you guys know tomorrow how much i'm actually starting at right because it's not impressive if if, if i'm already for example at uh let's say here if i'm at eight percent and i drop down three percent i mean it's still good but it won't be as impressive as anyways it's just for just for the fuck of it really <laughs> okay so how am i going to go about this well uh, the reason why I decide to drop down 5% is because, well, I need to save some money in the next three months, right? So I'm not going to tell you guys why just yet. So in about two, three months, I'll tell you why I'm, I'm doing this. Now, so <clears throat> I'm cutting down on a, a lot of expenses where I can. The one thing I, I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down on food too. Yeah, that's right. So everything I was buying before that was... Um, uh, you know, bio, like organic and bio and healthy and shit like that. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll still try to do that, but you know, I'm not going to splurge. So I'm going to keep it really minimalistic, right? So here's the thing. And, and I'm sure I'm going to lose weight because of this. I'll try to maintain my muscle mass, right? Because I am competing in judo. Uh, season starts in September. So then, you know, in October, it's probably going to be one November and so on and so on. Um, so I do want to keep my muscle mass. So this is what I'm gonna eat, and it's gonna sound fucking crazy, but it's uh, essentially uh, called the warrior diet. Now, I'm not really basing my, like, it's a little bit more complicated than that, the warrior diet, right? I mean, you actually have to eat enough nutrients and shit like that, but I think, I believe I can get my nutrients ultra cheap, okay, through beans, uh, 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 what do you call it? Yeah, beans, right? Beans, lentils and shit, right? That costs fucking nothing, man. You can go to the, the grocery store and pick that shit up for like uh, two, three dollars, four dollars. You get a bag like this, you know. So you, for like twenty bucks, you probably eat like buy all, buy, all all kinds of beans, and you could probably eat that. Sh you could probably go on for a good month like that, you know. So that takes care of your proteins and your carbs, right? Then of course you're gonna need some uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, greens, you know, leafy greens, uh, uh, vegetables and stuff like that. So you get those when they're all special, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy them when they're like uh, on sale or when they're about to rot, and then you just fucking freeze that shit, right? You, you, you know, you separate it, you freeze it, you put it in the freezer so that it doesn't go bad, and then you can still use it. And then from there, uh, eggs will probably, I'm not sure about eggs. I might eat eggs, I might not, you know? But if I could get everything I need from, uh, from beans, well, fuck it. Beans, veggies, greens, you know, that's it. And fucking water. And since I wanna, how do you say it? keep my drive up because I got to stay at this point, right? Like what I'm trying to do, I don't want to, you know, talk about it just yet, but I got to stay really amped up. I got to keep my brain amped up. And the thing is, if you guys don't eat during the day, okay, the body actually shoots up a little bit of cortisol, right? A lot actually. But in my case, uh, my neurology, I'm able to handle it because I have a lot of natural serotonin levels. I actually have the highest amount of serotonin among all the neurotypes. So I can handle more cortisol. It's not a problem, you know? I have a lot of something called acetylcholine, which acts, uh, um, has the same properties as adrenaline. So anyways, all that to say that I'm doing this, but I actually know what I'm doing, right? So I'm not gonna be eating during the day. 
uh, drinking water, maybe some, uh, maybe a fruit, you know, if I can find some cheap, whatever. <laughs> and I'm gonna, and for my fats, well, you know, you could just drink fat, eh? I mean oil. It's probably not the best thing, but you get, you know, because there's a lot of calories. It's nine, uh, nine grams per calorie. Uh, no, sorry, one gram uh, equals nine calories in terms of uh, fat. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I should know this off the top of my head, but I've been, I've been, I've been having a lot of things on my mind. Okay, so that being said, yeah, one way, and if you eat, if you drink, let's say fat, you'll actually be satiated because, well, it's fat, it's satiating, right? So you can do that. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do a little bit here and there, right? You gotta keep the healthy fats. Obviously, I'm not gonna take some fucked up oil like canola oil or you know none of that bullshit. You know, get at least some olive oil or coconut oil, or whatever. You know, and. Uh, chug that down a little bit, you know, not like a lot, not like a whole fucking bottle, but you know, just a little bit here and there. Eat once a day, it'll all be fucking beans and veggies. That's it, drink a lot of water, so the beans will take care of the protein and carbs, and hopefully I'll be able to maintain muscle mass, right? And I'll keep you guys updated on all that and how I feel too. I got some multivitamins that are, I'm good for another maybe two, three months. So that's it, man. So this is what, how I look like now. And uh, well, We'll fucking see in about, uh, you know, uh, we'll see how it, uh, we'll see how it looks. And at, at the same time, it's, it's, why not? Why not go down to 5%, right? I mean, uh, hey, I'll, uh, I'll post more shit on IG. So there you go. That's it for this video, <laughs> guys. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment down below. What do you guys think? What would be your approach, uh, you know, um, to cutting down to actually, yeah, well, just what you think in general. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? And I'll keep you guys updated, uh, you know. If not daily, then, you know, every two, three days, I post a video, talk about what's going on and how I feel about all this, you know. How, well, how I'm going to feel when I'm, I'm eating this way, right? But, uh, no, I, I, it should be good, man. So, okay, like the video if you like it, share it. Because, you know, sharing it helps me out. Sharing is caring. <laughs> and, uh, oh, follow Guys, follow me on, uh, what do you call it, Instagram. Uh, it's OG Fitness 1979 right? Because I post a lot of more stuff there um, when it comes to working out, that is, you know? Like, I don't talk because I don't have this, the setup, right, at this point. So, like, even if I, I tried that a couple of times, I, like, I posted some videos of me, uh, you know, like, explaining shit in the gym, and that was fucking a disaster because when I listen to it, you hear so much goddamn background noise. So I don't have the microphone and all that garbage yet. So when I do, I'll, I'll do a better job of that. But until then, you guys can watch, see what, like, if you guys have questions here, put it here. Then after that, I'm gonna film it on uh, IG and then I'll, I'll, you know, show you guys how to do it or whatnot or how I, I think it should be done. And then, um, yeah, so you could like ask me questions here and I answer an IG, if that makes any sense, okay? So that's it, that's it for this one, guys, and I'll see you guys uh, very soon. Peace.